The sun had just risen above the horizon, casting a warm glow over the countryside as Sarah stood on the porch of her small cabin, sipping her coffee. She had come here to escape the hectic city life and find some peace and quiet in the midst of nature. It was here that she met him, the man who would change her life forever. She heard the sound of a car engine and turned to see a rugged, handsome man driving down the dirt road towards her cabin. He pulled up in front of her and got out of the car, his eyes locking onto hers. She felt a spark of electricity as their gazes met, and she knew that this man was special. Hi, I'm Jack, he said, flashing her a smile that lit up his face. I heard from a mutual friend that you were looking for some help around here, and I thought I'd come and offer my services. Sarah was taken aback by his sudden appearance, but couldn't deny the attraction she felt towards him. She took him around the property, showing him what needed to be done, and they spent the rest of the day working together, their conversation flowing effortlessly. As the days passed, Sarah found herself drawn to Jack's rugged charm and kind heart. They spent their evenings sitting on the porch, watching the sunset over the mountains, or by the fireplace, sipping wine and talking about their dreams and aspirations. One night, as they sat outside under the stars, Jack took Sarah's hand and gazed into her eyes. I know we've only known each other for a short while, but I feel like I've known you forever, he said. I can't deny the way I feel about you, Sarah. I know it might seem sudden, but I can't help but fall in love with you. Sarah's heart fluttered as she heard his words, feeling the same way about him but unsure of what to say. They sat in silence for a few moments, their eyes locked in a loving gaze. Suddenly Jack stood up and held out his hand. Dance with me, he said, as he pulled her to her feet. He took her in his arms and they swayed to the sound of the crickets and the rustling of the leaves. As they danced, Sarah felt herself melting into his embrace, feeling a sense of belonging she had never felt before. They continued to dance for what felt like hours, lost in each other's eyes, until they finally collapsed onto the porch swing, laughing and breathless. From that moment on, they were inseparable. They worked together during the day, and at night they talked, laughed, and loved. They explored the mountains, went on picnics, and shared their deepest fears and secrets. One day, as they sat by the lake watching the sunset, Jack turned to Sarah and took her hand. Sarah, I love you more than anything in this world, he said, his voice shaking with emotion. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Will you marry me? Sarah's eyes filled with tears as she heard his words, feeling the love and devotion he had for her. She threw her arms around him, nodding her head and whispering yes into his ear. They got married on a warm summer day, surrounded by the mountains and the people they loved. As they stood before each other, exchanging their vows, Sarah felt a sense of peace and contentment that she had never felt before. Years went by, and they lived their life together, growing old and grey, but their love never faded. They continued to explore the mountains, went on road trips and shared new experiences, never losing the passion they had for each other. One day on their anniversary, Jack surprised Sarah with a trip to Paris, the city of love. They walked along the Seine, visited the Louvre, and shared croissants and coffee at a small cafe. As they sat there watching the world go by, Jack took Sarah's hand and looked into her eyes. Sarah, I know we've been through so much together, but there's one thing I haven't done yet, he said, pulling out a small box from his pocket. I want to renew our vows here in the city of love. Sarah gasped as she saw the box, tears streaming down her face as Jack opened it to reveal two simple gold bands. They renewed their vows in front of the Eiffel Tower, surrounded by the beauty and romance of Paris. As they sat in their hotel room that night, sipping champagne and looking out over the twinkling city, Jack turned to Sarah. I know we've been together for so long, but I still feel like we're just getting started, he said. I want to spend the rest of my life with you, exploring new places and making new memories. Will you continue to be my partner in life? Sarah smiled feeling the same way about Jack and their life together. Of course, my love, she said, kissing him on the lips. As they lay in bed, wrapped in each other's arms, Sarah felt a sense of gratitude and love for the man beside her. They had been through so much together, but they had always come out stronger, united in their love. 
The next day they explored the city, visiting the Notre Dame, the Champs-Élysées and the Arc de Triomphe. They stopped at a small park, sitting on a bench and watching the children play. Jack took Sarah's hand and pulled her to her feet. Dance with me, he said as he pulled her close. They swayed to the music of a nearby street musician, lost in their own world of love and devotion. As they danced, Sarah felt a sense of peace and happiness wash over her, knowing that she had found her soulmate. As they made their way back to the hotel that night, Jack turned to Sarah. I love you more than anything in this world, Sarah, he said. You're my rock, my partner, and my best friend. I don't know what I would do without you. Sarah smiled, feeling the same way about Jack. They walked hand in hand, their hearts full of love and gratitude for each other, knowing that their love would last a lifetime. And so they continued their journey together, exploring new places, making new memories, and cherishing every moment they had with each other. They had found true love, and nothing could ever come between them.